Lights out. It is said that we can see our true selves only in the mirror of life. Once, I looked into it. Can this, I said, be me? Why don't you try it sometime, if you dare? Lights out! going to like this country, Aline. Oh, it was nice that the Lockwoods to offer us the ranch for our honeymoon. Yes. It surprised me. I thought the Sombra was up for sale. Fred, it isn't a mistake for you to go out to the ranch, is it? Maybe I... Well, that's all past, Aline. But coming back again, you can't help remembering. Let's understand something. I'm not in love even with the memory of Miriam Lockwood. I'm in love with you and no one else. You can't own a ranch when you're dead. Oh, I'm sorry, dearest, but you mustn't start imagining things about Miriam. Part of the fascination is because I know so little about her. Well, what is there to know? Miriam Lockwood was a beautiful, strong-willed, stubborn kid who took everything for granted. Including you? Including me. But just because you grow up on a ranch, neighbor to a girl, doesn't mean you fall in love with her. No, of course not. They said she was thrown by her horse. That's good enough for me. She must have cared an awful lot. She couldn't stand being crossed. Hmm. No one ever broke her till she broke herself. How did I ever get to be so lucky? Lucky? A girl like Miriam and you marry me. Oh, careful, darling. You're now talking about the woman I love. <laughs> so I want to make you happy. I don't want you burdened by an invalid. Hey. Hey, what is this? You're fine. The doctor said so. And after a month or two of this sunshine and fresh air, your nerves will be as steady as mine. Anyone can push himself too far. And you did. Taking care of your mother night and day. Finding you is the best thing that ever happened to me. I hope we can find someone in those cabezas to take us out to the ranch. Is the ranch far from Dos Cabezas? Oh, it's far from everything. Way back in the Grey Monks, the roughest range of mountains in the southwest, they call the ranch La Sombra. La Sombra. <laughs> That's such a sad name. Mrs. Lockwood is quite an authority on Spanish and Mexican furniture. Wait till you see the ranch house. Everything in it is authentic, brought across the border from Mexico. What is it, darling? What's the matter? Mirror. In the mirror. Fred, when will it stop? What, darling? My reflection kept fading away. And some... Someone else. Not me. What's in there? The Sombra did hold in store for me. I'm sorry, darling, that ridiculous scene upset you on the train. Yes, that that does worry me, Ellie. I know, you can't understand this. You look into a mirror, any mirror, and you can't see yourself. No, everything blurs. And slowly someone else's image comes into focus. Who? I don't know. I was always too afraid to keep looking. You never had this trouble before you had your breakdown, Aline? No, darling, not really. 
Although I always was fascinated by mirrors ever since I was a little girl. Most kids are. Look at Alice and her experiences on the other side of the looking glass. I know. And I've always wished I could go like Alice into that other world and change places with a girl who looked like me. And then, then you found out it was nothing but a piece of glass coated with quicksilver. Yes. What is it, dear? What are you thinking about? Miriam must have been a beautiful girl. Yes. Yes, she was beautiful in a wild way. Black eyes. A fierce girl. Helene. The next person who mentions Miriam on this honeymoon pays a fine. Right. <laughs> you must have hated leaving the West, darling. I have no other choice. When my uncle died, his property was sold. That left me without a home. Carmelita whispering. I... I thought you were asleep. You didn't answer my question. About... about breakfast. She wanted to bring you a tray. Aline. Aline, why did you look into the mirror last night after what happened on the train? How can I fight this feeling if I don't keep trying? I can't go on the rest of my life being afraid to face the mirror. You say your reflection blurred? And went out of focus again? Yes, and then when I could see clearly. It was something else? Someone else? Yes. Who was it? I don't know. Helene, you've got to trust me. I do trust you. You're not telling me the truth. Fred! Who do you think it was? I don't know. Someone I've never seen before. Then there's nothing to be afraid of, darling. It's imagination. Oh, Fred. You want the whole truth, don't you? Of course. It isn't that I'm afraid of the person. It's more that... Oh, darling, please try to understand. It's more that if that image that isn't me could come out of the mirror and I would go in... You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. What? And then I would lose you forever. That's what's terrifying. Aline, as soon as you feel up to it, we'll get out of here. No, our honeymoon. You need a doctor. We kidded ourselves into believing that you were strong enough to take this trip. But it I, was a mistake. Please, I, I'll be all right, I promise. Don't let's spoil our honeymoon. Darling, we, 
We've got to get you well again. That's the most important thing now. But I'll be all right, I promise. Another day's rest. Don't let anything separate us. Nothing ever come between us. Of course not, sweetheart. And now, now you must be hungry. How about some breakfast? Hmm? All right, something light. Orange juice and toast? Very good, madame. Madame will rest quietly until her breakfast arrives on a tray. Madame is being pampered. And no more of that business about going into the mirror and my losing you forever. Promise? Promise.
you weren't killed. That mirror missed you by inches. Matt, trying to get my ring. She? Who? Who's Master dear? There was no one else in the room but you. I was bringing your tray with your breakfast when I heard the crash. My tray with breakfast? But you were in here before. Not since I went to get your breakfast. Fred, get me the mirror. Now, Aldine. Please. You... didn't have to compete with anyone. Not even a memory. Well, how? How do you know all this? On the other side of the mirror. Oh, darling. Funny. I had to lose you to find you. Don't ever lose me again. Promise? Promise. television. Mm -hmm. 